Okay. Okay. It's hot today. But that's because it's, what's the month? It's September. <laughs> it's uh -oh. not supposed to uh -oh. be hot, but it's hot. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. No. Because we're in the kitchen today. Yeah. And you know what we're doing in the kitchen? What? We're cooking. Yes. And we are also going to be using all the infusios. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh, so, no, you're just. I have an introduction. I know, I know. And so, what you've been waiting for is the Suzanne Summer of Show. Of course. And here she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My audience of two live clappers. I'm just finishing touching up my nails with my tinsel nail polish. Oh, my, actually my... Um, Your toes match My this. toes I know. need touching up. Is By the way, is I'll... That pool? No, 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 no. This is tinsel. Your pool. But tomorrow, do you know what tomorrow... Hello, Caleb. Mm, uh, uh, no, tinsel. Uh, okay, well we're Every out. once in a while you're wrong. Every, not often. Everyone, so this is tinsel. And I also was right today with Al Alan actually said the words. You were right, Suzanne. You were. Yes, yes. You were. Yes. Because we ordered these stand up desks two years ago thinking we'd be in our new house by now. No, no, we didn't order stand up desks. We ordered desks. Desks. And it has a stand up element. Thingy. Thingy. Which I didn't know. Oh, but I did. But you did. I did. And last night you said, no, 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 they're not stand up. And I went, you want to bet? And you said you want to bet. Yeah. But we I wish nothing, I bet something. We have nothing to bet about. The one time I win a bet with you and I didn't bet anything, I'm, you know, I didn't just play dumb on TV, I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm you, just you, dumb. They dropped you off the back of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello everybody. I'm so glad you're here. I'm making Alan's favorite dinner tonight. And yep. whenever we're uh, featuring... I've had, it, I've had it twice already this week. <laughs> No, actually you haven't. I've had it in different versions. I haven't done the garlic lemon. Oh, no, you haven't done I have that. not done the no. garlic. Whenever we're doing the uh, infusio oils and balsamics, uh, I get excited because this is how I cook and this is how we, we eat. And it's so easy to be a great cook. It really is. You just have to... Wolfgang Puck once said to, once said to me, your food is as good as your ingredients. And... Um, I hate when these ads come on. Let me turn the ad off. Why don't you turn the whole thing off? No, I love that. Where's my phone? Oh. Where's your phone? I love having music, but just mute. You the... know, for an extra 10 Here. bucks a month, they don't play the commercials. Yeah. What did you do to Caroline now? I turned off the volume. No. no. How are you going to cut off the ad? I know. I know. There's stuff I know. No, it's not this. You're starting to push buttons. How about that? Buttons. Caroline, are you still there? Oh, but now I can't hear Caroline. Oh, we're so technically. <laughs> Hit the audio. There. Talk to me, Caroline. Hello. There. Okay. okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll put the music on. In. So how do we get rid of ads on Sonos? It's an extra 10 bucks a Would month. you spend that? No. I'll give it to you. I have ten dollars to spare every no. month. Every month. It's ten dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's Stop a, your cheap that's thing. That's You're about to say something. Else. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. I know. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows what you're about to yeah, say. Yeah, you know. But yeah. I didn't because I'm what, I'm a lady. You know what you don't know about this. I'm woman? a lady and I don't talk like that. <laughs> what you don't know about this woman? She grew up in a house where. No, they know. <laughs> they know. Where. If you didn't swear, you didn't live there. <laughs> oh, you can't imagine. What was the first I don't even, word? oh, I what can't the, say. What was the first word you You can't learned? imagine yeah. the first, it's a hyphenate, words I learned. No, it's, it's not a hyphenate. Da, da, da. No, it's one word. Oh, it is? I, but I, I will never, ever, as long as I live, say that. Ever, ever, ever. You're, you're the hyphenate. What do you mean? Well, you cook. You oh, write books. Well, what did they say in that magazine you do about me? Multi. On television. You, you're what did they say? A multi what? I was reading a magazine remember. the other day, and it's so interesting. It was called uh, Palm Springs Postmodern something. Hyphenates. Uh, yeah, multi hyphenate. Yeah, right. So I'm just really enjoying the magazine, and 
going page by page by page, and oh, isn't that interesting? Yes, it's such an interesting area down here. And yes, they've taken all this um, postmodernist uh, architecture, and they've done such great things, and all these old homes that were thought of as nothing, the community came in and they swooped them up and they made them into these sexy, sexy, sexy weekend um, and seasonal homes. And I'm just loving the magazine. I go to the last page and whoa, there I am. Suzanne Summers, multi-hyphenate. And then they uh, asked me a bunch of questions that I don't remember answering. Anyway, how nice, huh? How nice. Okay. So. All right. Let's get busy here. What's that? Okay. Okay. How did you say that? Bets, let's get let's busy? Let's get busy okay. here. All right. Let's get busy. No, no, no. We've got all the oils. Yeah. We've got all the balsamics. By the way, the first word you learned. No. Okay. No. Started with a C and no. ends with an R. No. 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 Don't tell anybody that. Three syllables. I want to tell I want to tell all of you out there something because okay. he always brings it up. I had the perfect father, honestly. Everything I am, everything I learned until I met Alan Hamill, which is then I learned so much from him. Then I got you to unlearn what you no, thought no, no, you no. learned from let your me, father. Let me honor honor someone who had a terrible disease. He had a terrible disease. Nobody else. No, no, stop, 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 <laughs> stop, stop. stop. See, and he did not grow up meaning to be who he became. Okay, just but I have, can I just finish? Can, no, I, just, just can I just finish? No, you're turning him into a saint. I'm okay? not turning him into a saint. I'm turning him into somebody that I chose to be my father so that I could learn what I needed to learn. Okay, well, and what I am is a strong woman and I have no anger in me. I have forgiven. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. It is. I wrote that initially, I, I see it in Hallmark cards and everything, but if you read Keeping Secrets, I wrote that for the very first time, and I'm happy that people have taken it and taken it as their own, but okay. I believe that in, with every fiber of my being, forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. Okay, I forgive you. <laughs> I do. I forgive you. Okay. Oh, you're such a turd. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I married a turd. I married I, a turd. Okay. But I'm, I'm, your, I'm your turd. Oh, okay. but I love you so you much. You gotta carry this turd around for the rest of your I life. I know. I know. Okay. I love you so much. So I'm gonna make you Alan's favorite dinner tonight. Yeah. Starts with a tequila. Let me. Oh, where's mine? Okay, over here. Here, Al. Top of the morning to you. You married an Irish woman, so why okay. not? Okay. Hmm? Is this top of the morning or is this hair off the dog? Or I don't know. Hair on the dog. All right, I'm going to turn on the uh, gas here. Okay, stand back, everybody. When this woman turns on the gas, yeah, you don't know if you're right. going to survive. Is I'm going to put some. Yeah, okay. I'm not using my uh, expensive um, Meyer lemon or Tuscan um, oils here. They're too expensive to cook with. But I'm going to put. They're for finishing. They're for finishing. I'm going to put cooking olive oil, which is extra virgin and no uh, And I still stuff. don't understand extra virgin. I know you don't. If you're a virgin, you you're a virgin. What is an extra virgin? Uh, uh, Caroline, help your father-in-law. Yeah, what does that mean, Caroline? The very first time they press the oil. Thank you, Caroline. See? The very first time they, they press, press the oil. oil. Yeah, so it's the fruitiest, it has the most flavor, it's the deepest color, it's the, it's the primo primo. Yeah. Thank you, Caroline. Okay. Okay. Well, now... So, if you guys aren't familiar with Suzanne's Ephesio products, she has this incredible line of hand-harvested, cold-pressed olive oils, and oh. they are infused with a lot of different flavors. Some are citrus, some are herbs, some have different things in them, and they're just beautiful. So, they're finishing oils. Um, they're very expensive, they're very delicious, and you only need a little bit, and it just, you can become a gourmet like Suzanne by using these you can. And then she has these beautiful balsamic vinegars, also infused with flavors. Um, and this one, she has a traditional, she's got vanilla fig, she has black cherry, which we're out of right now, but it's coming in soon, and also a pomegranate, which pomegranate. we're going to use on the mm -hmm. salad tonight. 
and they're just spectacular. So she's making us her famous lemon pasta tonight. This is Alan's favorite dinner. When he wants like nope. his favorite dinner, this is what he wants. First thing I do in cooking olive oil, I don't use our good Meyer lemon or Tuscan olive oil because it's too expensive to, too cheap. to cook in. But I like to infuse the cooking olive oil, which is, as Caroline just said, extra virgin, with lemon slices, which I will then garnish the plate with. And it also flavors the oil so that when you make your sauce, it's going to be so good. Okay. Did I just remember something? What? What? What's every, that? Every, every girl I dated when I started dating fell into the category of extra virgin. <laughs> He's so cute. I love that so much. Don't it's you love true. him, girls? No, nobody struck out more than me. I used to think. I can't imagine Babe that you Ruth, struck Babe out. Babe Ruth hits home runs. I can't me. imagine that you struck out. I don't even get out. to walk. You know, I met him. I walk into KGO TV studios. My first time I've ever been booked on a television show. In what year? 1968. And there he was. Oh my God. Oh my God. I lost all my morals. Your morals? Yeah. No, you didn't. I had hardly had sex with anybody in my whole life. And well, I saw you that day. I don't even like the fact that you had sex with anybody. <laughs> well, I had Bruce. Okay. <laughs> but I saw him Did that day. Did you have to have sex to have Bruce? And I saw you that day, and something in me said, he is it. And I called my mom, and I said, I met who I'm going to marry, Manson. And oh, here I am. Said, you're crazy. No, she didn't. My mother was very happy. There was a guy I knew who I loved, but he you was not. No, he was not Harrison Curry. He said, he said, as long as it's not Jack. I can say that because Jack is no longer on this planet. Oh, really? But I love Jack. And Bruce loved Jack. Huh? He was a good guy. He was a really good guy. And Bruce loved Jack a lot more than he Oh, God. He was so, Bruce so wanted me to marry Jack, and I kept thinking, I don't love Jack. I love Alan. Okay. So what this is doing here, I mean, it's just feeding this oil with lemon. And now the oil. See these brown things down here? I want to teach you something. These brown, this is what I call the ball. This is the balls of cooking. My friend Susie, who is such a great cook, she used to throw all that out and I go, Susie, what are you doing? Okay, so what we're going to do now is take these lemon slices out for garnish, but they've done their job in the oil. All right, now, now turn this down as low as I can. Here, right here. I, I did it before you, but what I did was I peeled and chopped these whole two cloves. Do you know how great garlic is for your health? I want to know what happened to our whole fields of garlic. I don't know. But, but uh, this is like an anti-inflammatory. When they say the things that are really important, garlic, ginger, uh, the, 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 uh, rosemary, rose, uh, uh, nature turmeric, turmeric no, nature provided um, antioxidants to us in the form of flavor. Here's flavor, turmeric, uh, rosemary, um, sage. I'm thinking of my herb garden out here. It, so it's great. So this took a long time. All right, this is like tedious, but it's worth it. Okay, and here's what I brought it down to. See this? Okay. okay. All right, so now, now that the oil is real low, I have already cooked the pasta, because you all know how to cook pasta, but I want to tell you about the pasta. This is a summer-sized meal, and I realized today it's a summer-sized meal, but I didn't plan it to be a summer-sized meal. You know why? Why? Because I eat summer-sized. It's the way I eat. So the pasta we're having is um, Andean Dream quinoa pasta. Quinoa is technically a fruit. It's not gluten. Okay, it's got gluten problems in your family. So I'm eating a fruit? Yeah, but this, this, this Andean Dream pasta, you don't feel like you're losing out on anything. No. So now when you put your garlic gluten, in here. It's gluten free. 
totally good. When you, uh, I'm just cooking this on the lowest Boy, heat I have. Wish we had smell of it. Yeah. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want to burn garlic because then it becomes bitter. So I'm just letting it infuse in here. And then I'm going to like add, this is so easy. It's, you're going to love making this, okay? And the house smells amazing when you're doing this, okay? By the way, I've got some black, some black garlic. You do? Yeah, I don't know if that tastes the same as regular garlic. I don't either. It <laughs> has great health benefits. That, yes, that Dr. Mercola says that. I know. All right. All right. So we got. I've just got to let that do its thing. Okay. Oh. Now over here, can we get off that for a minute? Okay. Here, let's let's All take right. a look at this. All right. Here we have the blood orange olive oil infusio. We have the basil olive oil infusio. The herb de Provence olive oil infusio, the traditional, <laughs> the vanilla fig, oh, I the love black vanilla cherry, fig. love black cherry, and the Meyer lemon. Oh, I love Meyer lemon. Okay, okay. so here's. Now, you think now, would you pull the black cherry out? Because we are out of it now. I don't want anyone oh, to get it. Oh, pull the black it. cherry out. Okay. You may not have black cherry. Okay. <laughs> Just not right now, but we can not have right a now. Pomegranate. You know what it is? These these um, balsamics are so popular that yeah. we have a hard time keeping them in stock. All right, so and here. It's a beautiful small vendor that makes these. Yeah. It's just, yeah, we're, it's we're not going to um, Costco. I mean, it's, it's just, they're small so look at the salad I made. What's in there? There is celery, radish, um, uh, cabbage. Feta, uh, pom uh, cucumber, uh, orange red pepper, black olive, uh, red cabbage. Okay, like and underneath is some chopped up salads and and kale. All right. Okay. That's about fifteen vegetables right here, right here. Okay. All right. So great. Now here's what I'm going to do. Did I have the one that you didn't poke with your finger? Okay. Here <laughs> is the. Um, Tuscan olive oil. Mm. Man, is it great. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pour a little on here. When I make salads for my guests, like I had uh, dinner guests last night, I let them do their own thing. Okay, now, you don't want to use too much of this. This is pomegranate. You don't want to use too much of this, okay? Just put a little bit of that, okay? That's plenty. I may have even done too much. All right. Now, I just need to stir. We'll get back to that in a minute. I need to stir the um, garlic, which is getting a little overdone, but it still be good. Okay, now. All right. I'm going to now take the quinoa pasta that I cooked before you all came to dinner. All right, quinoa, it's not gluten. It's incredible. Look at that. Mm. Don't you want that? Oh my gosh. So awesome. And loaded, she's right in loaded with garlic. So now what I'm going to add to this is um, lemon zest. I'm going to put that all over there. Okay. Yum. Oh, you can't imagine. Oh my God. This is going to be so, so good. And then I'm going to put a little bit of fresh lemon juice that I squeezed before you all came to dinner. Okay. I know I don't measure, but you kind of see that I kind of eyeball it all. Don't you want that? So I'm going to now add, here's a secret, pasta water. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit just to get this cooking a little bit. And I'm going to add some 
C salt. Oh, whoops. And some fresh ground pepper. Now, I hope I have some hot red pepper flakes. Where are they? I can't find them. I think they're back here. Ah, Bruce did my spice thing, and it's all alphabetical. Put too much in I won't, I won't. Just a little. Okay. So now, we kind of got this. I'm just going to let it bubble up, and then... I'm going to hold the camera and let Alan Hammer eat his favorite. Favorite. Okay. Did you say you're going to hold the camera? Does that, that make you is nervous? That, is that what I heard you say? Does that make you nervous? Not at all. Okay. I think, folks, stick around for this. <laughs> okay. Oh, but isn't that beautiful? If you Look want to have that. one big laugh today. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful? Another thing I could add to this is sautéed pine nuts. You just keep going with this. Yeah. It's so incredible. What's boiling right now is that pasta water I just put in there and I wanted to um, cook it down. Wow, isn't that beautiful? And healthy. There's no gluten. It's all flavor and all beautiful. And I haven't even tasted it yet, and I know that my husband is going to be so happy. One of my joys in life is feeding you, and I know Caroline I the know. same thing. She loves feeding Bruce. Don't you, Caroline? I do, I do. It's, it's, some, it's like I wait, I put it down an hour, and I don't make a big deal, and I, when I hear him go, yum, I, I won. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yum is a big thing. All right, this is done. Done. Okay. okay. Now. So one more look at this. Yeah. Okay. There's the blood orange. There's the basil olive oil. There's the herbe de Provence olive oil. There's the traditional olive oil. No, that's traditional balsamic vinegar. There's the uh, vanilla fake balsamic vinegar. And there's the Meyer lemon. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to get ready to eat. And I'm going to put the camera right here. Okay. Okay. Put a little fresh parsley on here. And then, get some great parmesan. Alan, in that drawer, right, the, right, right over there behind you, is a grater. Will you get the grater? Okay. Yum! This looks so good. Yeah. Okay. Take a look at this. Yeah, I like lots of cheese. Oh, you do? Lots of cheese. You can't put too much cheese on for me. There's something about grating fresh rather than buying the grated already grated at the market that really makes a difference. I don't know what it is more buttery or something like that, but it's kind of great. Mm. It doesn't even taste the same. It doesn't. I it agree. Gets all dry. Yeah, I mean, when you pre-grate cheese, it gets all dried out and oxidized. Okay, come here, Al. Okay. Where am I going to eat? You're going to stand right here. Okay. I'd love to put you at your chair because you like being at your chair, but. Okay. All right. So, Suzanne, before you before you have to eat it, is there a final drizzle of your Meyer oh, lemon? Oh, oh, God! What? Come here, Al. <laughs> Thank you. The whole thing. Come here, Al. Come here, right. back. Huh? I forgot the most important thing. I knew there was something dry about it. Bring it back to me. She's so right. That's why you're in my life. Okay, come here, come here. All right. Why don't you put it on the whole thing and then put it no, back no, on no, the plate? No, 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 it's not the same. This oh, is okay. the drizzle. This is the Meyer lemon. This is what's going to, like, make it sing. Okay. Oh, look, at, show them that. Okay. Look at that. Uh huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's so incredible. Okay. So let's see. How are you going to do this? Well, just do you want here. a spoon? No. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> okay. I think you'll want a spoon. Nope. Is that a holy that shit? Incredible. Is that a holy shit? Mm. <laughs> yeah, just, just get a little closer, Alan, so we can go see. In, go in, go in, go in. 
Oh, let me take a spoonful. All right. How's this? <laughs> let me have some. Oh, my God. Oh, Caroline, you just love this so much. Mm. Well, I've got a lemon on my fork. Yeah, don't have that. No. Watch out for me right now. Okay. Oh! Wow, that looks good. Oh! Mm -hmm. And I tell you, it was that last drizzle of the Meyer lemon. Mm. Holy crap! God, that's good. You love it? Great. I love this. Is what I get every night. This is why I cook to feed him. And also, it's 5:25. Like you literally made that in front of us in minutes. Such a short amount of time. Yeah. You want to sit? You sit here, Al. Sit. Oh, okay. They can see you. Sit. Okay. So, on the salad, I put the Tuscan olive oil, but now I'm going to put the pomegranate. This is incredible. Our balsamics are like no other. I, I never like balsamic because it's always acidy tasting. And when you see in the restaurant in balsamic and then you go, eh. This has been aged 12 years or longer. It's like syrup. So now what I'm gonna do is just smidge it in right, okay? Right now. Look at all these beautiful vegetables. Dr. Blaylock says that we should have 10 to 15 different flavonoids every day. Flavonoids are all the flavors in vegetables. Front of you, but I can't stop. Can you? No. Mm. It's okay. I'll just tell people the promo code while you guys are eating. Yeah. Promo code tonight is oh lemon God. 25, and that's for 25% mm. off all the Infusio mm. products. They're only available at suzannesummers.com. Mm. Lemon 25. When you have a piece of mm. cabbage on your upper lip, if mm. you care. I, I do. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Taking a bite of this. Mm. Man, that's great. You gotta see from our faces, this is not like by our stuff. This is just like great stuff. Mm. Great. Wow. Wow. You don't have to be a great cook to be a great cook, okay? When you've got the great ingredients, as Wolfgang Puck once told me, your food is as good as your ingredients. Look what I just did. You can do that. And when if you're worried about pasta, think about this. It's um, I have nothing to do with this. This company must love me because I sell their stuff all. Andean Dream Quinoa Pasta. Quinoa is not flour. It's a fruit, technically. And man. Yeah, for, you know, for some purposes, Suzanne would call that like what she, how she, how she clarifies like whole grains. Yeah. So it is a, it is a much easier choice 
on your insulin than a white flour pasta. And Alan, who is gluten intolerant, this doesn't affect him at all. He can, he can eat plates of this. Are you happy, Al? Come over here and eat in front of us. And I do eat plates of it. Come over here and eat in front of us. And just okay. watch. He's almost done with his plate. All right. I'm, mm. Yeah, how'd you do? Is there more? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Boy, this is really, this is. <laughs> <laughs> that makes mm. me happy. Wow. Wow. I know. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're, we have Alan's nice-looking bicep on camera. That's what we have. Nice. We have your elf, 80, we have his elf oh, come over here. Arm. Come over yes. here. 85 years old. Look at those biceps. Keep going, Al. It's all because I live with Dr. Summers. Okay. <laughs> and Dr. Summers makes me exercise. So, I do. Yeah, but you exercise the way you like it. I do. I don't think anything should be a chore. I think food should be pleasurable. We shouldn't be denying ourselves. Mm. We shouldn't be thinking of what we shouldn't have. You know, when a salad is this good, let me get in front of the camera for a minute. When the salad is this good, that you don't know whether to eat your salad or to have the pasta, you got something good going on. Oh, this is so good with the pomegranate and the Tuscan olive oil. Mm. 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 There, there's so many of these comb combinations. I haven't found one that I don't think works together. Me and neither. They're all so interesting together. Over the, over the months that we're all together, try every one of the balsamics. And you'll eventually find your favorite or you won't. You'll just like them all like we do. Oh, gosh, this is so good. Mmm. Well, Well, what? How was your day? Oh, so far my day has been great. What could be terrible? You know what I did today? I do know what you did today. I I'm, was there, remember? I'm packing up my home shopping jewelry. All the stuff I just can't let go of. It's, it's too much for any one person to ever wear. And by the way, if you're in the Palm Springs area, go to Revivals. They've got, I've just been sending jewelry and clothes and shoes and boots and things down there. Go down there. It'll, it'll be like five cents on the dollar. It, I, I don't take any money from it. It all goes to the Desert AIDS Project. And, um, well, it's so cleansing, but so exhausting to go through everything. We are leaving our beloved home here at the end of the month and the crunch is now on because we've been here for 45 years and you can't imagine yes you can all of you who are our ages you know what you can accumulate in 45 years it's it's astounding and so it all comes down to three categories do i want it usually yes do i need it usually no do i use it usually no there are months, that, years that go by that you don't even look at these things. And so that's how I've been gauging things that I send to revivals. Like, yeah, it's a beautiful black alligator tote bag I sent yesterday. But you know what? I have not even taken it out of the armoire for 10 years. I don't need it. I don't need it. So it, somebody's going to really want it and you know, really I like sent, it. I sent a big case over to them. Oh, what'd you send? Well, the one thing I sent... I wish I was going to be there. Why? Would you, what? I sent a bunch of my stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. I also sent, and I can't, I don't even know why I still have it, okay? Because I haven't seen this thing what? since I was a teenager what? playing hockey every single day of my life in Canada. What? <laughs> my, it's called a tinny. Okay. It's a tinny. A tinny? It fits Do we know what a tinny is? It fits inside your jock strap. So if you get hit with a puck. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess when you're a kid in Canada and you get hit in the nuts with a hockey right. puck, you need a tinny. You need a tinny. That's funny. I've never heard that. A new story, Al. Uh, do you know that, Caroline? Yeah. Actually, you know what I like? Who's going to 
going to buy it. What do you want? Could you hand me that fork? Yeah. The fork or the plate? No, yeah. just the fork. Okay. okay. And also the pan. No, because I haven't had mine yet. Say, it's, you'll eat it all. You've been eating mine. No, I haven't. I, too, I had two bites. Come over here, but save me one little plate, please. Well, then I won't bother you. No, 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 please. No, I want, no, I I want, I want, no, I want no, you to have it. No, I'd rather suffer, and I'll, I'll wait until you finish eating or whatever you have left over. Why don't you cry me a river? I'll, 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 I'll cry suck it up. me a river. I'll, I'll lick it up. Okay? I cried a river over yeah. you. Now you say you're lonely. You cry the whole night through. <laughs> so you can cry me a river, cry me a river, I cried a river over you. The other night we watched a documentary on a friend of ours, David Foster, off the record, watch that. It's great. Alan has known him most of his life, I've known him most of the last 30 years or more, and he really is something. It's really something. It's worth watching. All your, the greatest music that we all love, it's him. He did it. And um, uh, I knew practically everybody on the show, which was so great. Um, he and Paul Anka have collaborated so often, and Paul Anka is so amazing. You ever want to go see a great show? A great show. That you'll walk away going, wow, I never expected that. Paul Hanka. You know why? I was talking to Paul one night. I said, why do you think it's so like cohesive now? He said, I've been doing this for 60 years. At some point, you get really good at what you're doing. Or you should give up. He's great. So, anyway, there's a lot of great so we stuff. Have some, uh, we have a lot of, um, we have a little bit of a, I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. No, what, what are you talking about? What is that? Well, we have a ton of comments in another language that is oh. like maybe Farsi or some, uh, Middle Eastern, oh. but it's, a, it's like a computer hacking thing. Oh. So, sorry about that. Just read through them. You can see the, the comments. Um, not that we don't love international activity, but this is a bot. It's not a, uh, they're not actually real comments. So, okay. it's been reported. Thanks for... Thanks for letting us know. How do they know in that language what they're saying? It's a, it's a, it's like an automated thing. It's not. Oh. It's not, it's just happening in, from a different language. Okay, so I want you to see what I've got now. What is this? Well, I just put a scoop of vanilla ice cream in the freezer. Okay. Wait and see. Here's your easy dessert. You look good from behind. <laughs> I love you, Al. That's Here's why a... I always let you walk in front of me. <laughs> let me. Here's um, a fresh peach. Okay. Here's a piece of. I'll put the mint on in a minute. But here. Oh. Oh yeah. <sighs> peach. Infused balsamic. Oh, yeah. Oh, this yeah. is I chug along that too. secret sauce. Yeah. This is incredible. Now, here's your vanilla ice cream, okay, in a frozen silver cup. Now, oh, you can't imagine. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and this is a white balsamic. The rest of Stan's balsamics are traditional. This is a white balsamic. Is this like the perfect dessert? Wow. Perfect. Come here, Al. Beautiful here. dessert. I'm going to give this to you. Come here. Okay. I'll get you a little spoon. You just stand there and okay. imagine. A little spoon. The treat you're going to have in a minute. Okay. I'm waiting for my little spoon. Here's your little spoon. Okay. <clears throat> oh. No, it's just a piece of mint. I have more. Was this in the freezer? Yeah. Yeah. Again, Thank you. Mm. You know, I just am not me without my heels. Even in jeans. How is it? It's great. It's great. You look so cute, Ellen. <laughs> mm. 
You know, he's the most fun person I've ever known in my whole life to feed. He loves... Yeah. Yeah, he loves... Oh. Now mm. have a peach. Take a taste of your peach. Your fresh peach there. <laughs> you did a good job on your own tonight, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Want a little more peach balsamic? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. This is great. Yeah, you could do this on a salad or... Yeah, vegetables, fruits, put it on after you grill or saute your meat, put a little drizzle on at the end, and even Mm. on dessert, vanilla yogurt or uh, Mm. vanilla ice cream, it just... Awesome, isn't it? Yeah, and and the olive oil is great on ice cream, too. I know that people think that sounds weird, but... No, that does sound weird to me, so tell me. When you put a really fruity, delicious olive oil on ice cream, it's, it does something. It's like that savory sweet thing. Mm. Incredible. Well, let me try this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. White balsamic peach vinegar. Wow. Wow. Bet you wish you were here, Caroline. I do. I know. It's incredible. I know. Wow. You just gave me a great dessert for my dinner on the 25th. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Tiffany's surprised that you're putting vinegar on ice cream, but it because it, of the sweetness, oh it, my gosh. it's, it's oh my the God. most elegant dessert. You'll love it. Yeah, like mm. you'd never put regular balsamic on ice cream. Never, never. But it would be a sin. I've never mm. liked balsamic vinegar until mm-hmm. our mm. balsamic. Now I try to like it. Wow. Yeah, a grilled peach is also, a, or a sautéed peach with the balsamic is incredible. <clears throat> That's what Vicky was saying. Mm. Wow. Well, you're right, Vicky. Okay. You could just keep layering on here. You could grill your peach. And How'd you do, Al? Can you pick up those two things there? What two things? The mint you drop yeah. on the floor. I'll just kick it over here. <laughs> these, are, these products are only available at SuzanneSummers.com, and the promo code tonight is Lemon25, and that's for 25% off all the Enthusio products. I am licking my lips. It's so great. I put the um, Tuscan olive oil on the salad with the several different kind of vegetables, and then I put the pomegranate balsamic on top of the salad with the Tuscan olive oil. Just a little, don't overdo it, just a little. God, so good. Then, on the pasta here, I finished it with the Meyer lemon olive oil, which, just get the Meyer lemon, and you'll use it for so many things. I want to add a little more here, because this is mine here. All right, and then we took the vanilla ice cream and put the peach balsamic That was great. Yeah. That was great. This is a great dinner. It took very little effort. You watched. You saw the whole thing. You can all do it. You can all do it. Okay, I'm going to show you the Infusio stuff Mm. in a second. Ah. But first, Mm. here's the deal. 25% off all the Infusios. Promo code LEMON25. Okay? Do you know what's interesting? We'll decide. You tell us. Yeah, we'll no, it's interesting. We'll the food the was so amazing tonight, I forgot to drink my tequila. Oh, wow. That's when you know the food is great. Okay. Well, so what I'm going to do... You're cooking and doing show. And yeah, I'm loving it. Okay. Basil, olive oil. You were hyphen. You were hyphen. <laughs> okay. Herb de Provence, olive oil. Okay. Additional balsamic, vanilla fig, mm. balsamic. So good. If you don't mind, I'm just going to eat my dinner now. Olive oil. Mm. And then okay. you can have the rest that's in the pan I saved for you. I know you're not going to eat that whole plate, okay? Oh, I am. You are? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I may be little, but I've got a mighty appetite, and you know that. So this is what's left for me, which is great. <laughs> it's well, I feel like you've transported us to a little cliffside cafe in mm. Mm. 
Yeah. This lemon pasta. It's 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 fantastic, really, really fantastic. Anyone, you cannot go wrong with any one of these oils or balsamics that you get tonight. It's so incredible. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, how about that shot, huh? Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, Suzanne, will you give me the uh, reach out down this recipe so I can write it up and post it for everyone? I sure will. Okay. Two cloves so, of garlic. Uh, yeah. I, I posted in the comment section on uh, Facebook where you can find Suzanne's recipes. On Instagram, um, I can post the link, but it's going to be so long it's going to annoy you. I'll post it anyway. going to finish all this food. I want you to think about the next meal you're going to make with all this stuff and I'll see you again Friday, okay? On Friday, we've got a big supplement show on. I love you all. And remember, it's not who you are, it's not what you do, it's not what you have. Nope. It's only about who you love and who loves you. I love you. Good night, everybody. And also, something else to remember? What's that, A wet bird never flies at night. And there he is.